The very first step which we have to do in this case, we have to convert 7 to improper fraction. Okay? Anytime you want to convert whole number to improper fraction, you have to write that number over 1. So in this case, I'm going to have 7 over 1 times 4 over 3 times I have to convert mixed number to improper fraction times 5 times 2 is 10 10 plus 2 is equal 12 over 5 remember denominator always stays the same next check if I can reduce any numerator by any denominator okay in this case I have 3 and I have 12 both of them are divisible by by 3 okay so let me rewrite this problem over here and I'm going to have 7 over 1 times 4 over 1 because 3 divided by 3 is equal 1 times 12 divided by 3 is equal 4 over 5. I cannot reduce anything else over here, so I'm going to simply multiply numerator by numerator and denominator by the denominator. 7 times 4 is 28. 28 times 4 is equal 112. 1 times 1 is 1 times 5 is 5. 112 over 5. This is the example of the improper fraction. Most of the time we convert improper fractions to the mixed number by dividing numerator by the denominator. So I have 112. I have to divide by 5. The question is, how many times 5 goes into 11? It goes 2 times. 2 times 5 is equal 10. Subtract. I'm going to have 1. Bring down 2. How many times 5 goes into 12? Goes 2 times. 2 times 5 gives me 10. Subtract. I have 2. My answer is 22 2 fifths. Remember the top number goes to the front, remainder goes to the numerator, and the divisor goes to the denominator. Okay, I'm going to write the solution over here. 22 2 fifths.